What is up you guys? It is Jamin's Gamers coming at you with some more Minecraft Redstone tricks and tips. Oh yeah, we're back again. Yeah, this is just gonna be something it's gonna be the norm. How do I, you know what I'm looking at his shirt? What is his shirt? Is there like a oh my gosh, I'm like moonwalking. Moonwalk on him. Moonwalk on him. Oh I'm I'm doing it too fast. Oh, copyright. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right into it. Today we're going to be talking about tripwire and redstone repeaters. If you're wondering why I'm bubbling, it's because I got the night vision potion, which lets me see in the dark. It's super helpful. I know, like, this update is just helping me out. It's like they wanted me to make YouTube videos. <laughs> Anyways, now, the uh, tripwire, there's not too much stuff I can talk about right now because right now it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it doesn't get very complicated, at least from what I know. It's not too complicated right now. Basically, tripwire is uh, is you got these little uh, you got it. You have to put it on the side of a block. You put it right there. It's connected by string, and then you connect it horizontally or diagonally, horizontally or vertically. Sorry, um, with a piece of string. So I don't know if you guys knew this yet, but you can just place string. You can kind of hear it. Wait, you can kind of hear it now. You can place string. You can't even see. It's so hard to see on grass, but you can place string down now. And what this basically is used for is to basically just to connect redstone, uh, I mean, not said redstone, connects tripwires. So let me break this real quick to show you a little example. A tripwire looks like this when it's not connected, so you can kind of tell if it's connected or not. It looks like this. It looks like a, like a switch that's up It's um, when it's not connected. You, you, when you put a piece of string in the middle to connect them, you can see they kind of lay down and are um, in the middle position. And when they're activated, they'll go down. If you can kind of see it for a second, they'll go down. So you can tell when they're activated, you can tell when they're not activated, and you can tell when they're connected, which is a little helpful. This is really helpful just to tell what's connecting and what's not. Now, with, red, with um, Tripwire, basically the only reason I see using it for is to act, well, the only reason it is used for is to activate redstone that's connected to the block that is connected to. That's a mouthful. This redstone. Oh, I can't even speak right now. It's just like a whole mouthful. It's to activate redstone that is connected to the block that it is connected to. All right. So if we step on this string, it activates this trip wire, which activates this redstone. And like I said, it activates any redstone surrounding it as well. So if I step on that, it'll activate all the ones around it. Now the only problem with trip wires I've noticed is that. They um they can't be you can't put them um diagonally so of course if I put anything in Minecraft really doesn't connect diagonally and it seems uh seems when they're automatically placed they're always going as one direction I've noticed they don't go left or right unless you like connect them with other things but um as you can see because uh this is making a turn right here these aren't connected that's why they're up like this unlike where I said when they are connected they'll be in this little flat kind of situation. Now, I'm sorry if I'm flying through this. There's not much I can see about tripwires other than, you know, they're tripwires. <laughs> if you don't know, know what a tripwire is, watch some Indiana Jones. You'll like be like, oh my gosh, tripwires. <laughs> so, um, tripwires can also be uh, activated blocks above ground level. So you can place string above ground. And the easiest way of doing this is just to place string over top string and then break in the bottom string. So as you can see, you can kind of see I'm aiming at some. It's really hard to see string, at least on grass. I haven't like tested to see how well you can see it, but it's really hard to see. Nonetheless, they not only can they be placed over ground, they can also be activated over ground. So say you had like you want to like create something to trap zombies, and when they pass through it, they activate it, or your friends or whatever. They walk right through it. It gets activated, and not only does the redstone activate the blocks around it, it also activates the blocks beneath the block it's connected to. <laughs> and that's still a mouthful. Anyways, uh, they and they can be stacked as many times as possible. So there's three, and here's four. Oops, snap. I don't even have. Where are they? There you go. Put that right there. Smack down. Bam. Bam. As you can see again, remember I said when they're up, not connected. Place the string on top of string. Bam. Connected. Say if you want to like trap an Enderman, you know how they're three blocks tall. One, two, three. And he's like, oh, I don't know what's happening. Activation. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he won't like activating things. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, redstone, I mean, tripwires can be activated by throwing things on them. So they almost kind of work like wooden uh, wooden pressure pads, like I explained before. And they also get activated by any kind of entity. 
So let me throw out a pig real quick. We're at piggy. Drop you on some string. Bam. Activate it. Magic, I know. This this whole update is crazy. Now one other one last interesting fact I learned about uh the tripwires is that the tripwires of one string won't activate the other ones. So if I activate this string, as you can see that's connected to this, but it's not horizontal for or horizontal to these two, it's not touching these. This will activate perfectly fine and those won't. But if I touch the intersecting spot, of course, all four of them will be activated because all four of them will be in touched. So that's basically all I can say about tripwires right now. There's, I'll try to experiment with them a little bit more, but it doesn't seem like there's too much to them other than you know, like it's, it's. I guess it would be helpful for like trapping your friends, like because it's really hard to see them. And look at that, like as long as something t passes through that little, that little rectangle right there, then they'll get activated. So if I do find out anything more about tripwires, I'll let you guys know. It seems like they're pretty straightforward right now, so you know. And they, oh yeah, they make this weird sound when you break them. They sound like arrows falling. You kind of hear it. I don't know if you heard it. Yeah, they kind of sound like when an arrow falls off of a block or something like that. Or when an arrow is shot and it hits like a solid object. But whatever. Tripwires, magic, I know. Minecraft is getting crazy. Next, the more interesting and more confusing situation we got right now is redstone repeaters. Now, basically what redstone repeaters do is carry redstone signal an additional 15 blocks now we could do this with redstone uh, redstone torches but we'll explain that a little later let's just explain how these work straightforward so as you can see we got our redstone torches activating this uh, redstone and right there like on the 16th one because this is the 15th this is the 16th and we have no power we want to hit that light up there but it has no power so easiest way to do this you simply replace your last dead your first dead block of uh, redstone with a redstone repeater, as you can see, magically, these are on. This is what it looks like off. Let me just do a side-by-side. -side. Off, on. It's I mean, the redstone gets is that straightforward. Usually you can tell when a redstone is not powered because it'll, it'll be, like, dark red. When it starts having color, like brightish red, orangey red, that's when you can tell it's powered. So, as you can see, now this has become a new source block of its own because it's getting power from this redstone. And now if we go one, um, another 15 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 blocks powered, 16 block again is not powered. Oh no, we still need to go farther, what will we do? Uh, redstone repeater, <laughs> magic, look, we can do that as many times as we want, as many times as ever needed in life. So, like I said before, you can do this, you can do the same thing with redstone torches, but it's a lot more confusing. As you can see, this is how you do it with a redstone repeater to make uh, go another 15 blocks, and this is how you have to do it with redstone torches. So basically, let me show you. So we got our blight that's more than 15 blocks away, we want to turn it on, bam, it's turned on. I don't know if you can see it, let me just go up there. If you guys believe me now, <laughs> it's on. Turn it off. Didn't hit it. Oh, didn't hit it again. A failure. Failure. All right. It's now it's off. Uh, the only way to do this with redstone torches is in this situation right here, where we'd have to power this block, which would turn this redstone off, which would turn this on, which would power this, which would turn this light on. So if you just watch real quick, this and this is 15 blocks right here, as you can see, because this will be the dead spot right here. So if we went any farther, we wouldn't even be able to power this redstone. Well, this dirt block. So as you can see, that's the 15 block, 16 block is powering this, this turns off, this turns on, powering that, turning on the light. So if you had to decide which one to use, you know, you'd probably want to, you'd, you'd probably lean on this side, because it's a lot more block efficient. You have to set up this whole weird contraption just to turn on a light when you can simply, especially if you had, like, lights on the floor, this would definitely be a lot easier to do than, you know, this whole thing. So if you want to have, like, some kind of indoor, like, lighting room, I don't know. Whatever your, your heart desired, where there's lights on the ground, this would be the easiest way to do it. Now, uh, remember how I said before we couldn't put power through blocks? I'm sorry, I'm like cracking. I've been talking so much today. So we can't put redstone power through blocks. As you can see, this redstone lamp is not on because Mr. Dirt Block wants to be in the way and such. Simple way of fixing this is with redstone repeaters. They're like super magical. They help you get around obstacles. 
So basically what happens is the redstone is powered, it jump makes it makes the redstone power jump through this block and go continue on to the uh, redstone behind it. And what I learned just recently while playing around with this is that the redstone repeater can be on either side of the block. So if I place the redstone repeater over here, bam, it jumps from there to this and it completely ignores this block and continues on to light our light. To light my fire, baby. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so now this comes to technical parts that's not so fun about redstone torch. I mean, redstone repeaters. It's kind of it, it, it's a downfall of them, but you know you got to you got to work around everything in this game. So as you can see, let me just show you one that's off. As you can see, there's this red line, this red line that's like that helps uh, that holds the uh, two uh, torches in place. I guess you can call them torches, and the redstone repeater in place. As you can see that like lit up line, that's the way that redstone uh, that redstone line needs to be placed so then it can continue the line. So let me try to explain that a little better by showing you how it's not done. So as you can see this is powering, but it's not lined this redstone's not lined up with the power at least the power redstone is not lined up with this line and therefore it's not getting any power. It's not giving this lamp power. Completely useless, so you suck. The only way of doing this, it, well, redstone repeaters are almost like trucks in a situation where, like, they need, like, leeway to, like, turn. So as long as there's redstone on either side of the line, then they should work perfectly fine. So as you can see right here, there's redstone on this side of it, and there's redstone on that side of it. Works perfectly fine, same situation, one side, the other side, works perfectly fine. And once they turn, I mean, once they have power on both sides, you know, they can go wherever they want. Oh yeah, one more thing before I continue on. Redstone uh, repeaters can only be activated uh, from, they can only be um, powered from the far side of the torches. So you can see this dark line, well this line right here, This is the power must come from this side. And you can kind of see an arrow which points to which way it goes and which way it comes from. So this arrow is pointing up which means that's the way it goes, which means the bottom part of this triangle is where the power comes from and the tippy part of the triangle is where it goes. So if I try to face it the other way like this, you see it kind of like, it was like freaking out, I was like, oh, that's all right. <laughs> and now you see it's not powered. If I put redstone on the other side, nothing will happen because we're putting the uh, out, we're putting the input in. It's like plugging in the output into the input cord or, you know, like when you're setting up your TV or something, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be the opposite. It's not gonna work for you. So that's the basics of uh, redstone uh, repeaters. Now comes the super fun part. So you know how we have like clocks in Minecraft and there's time, like day and night basically, that's as timey as it's going to get in Minecraft. Well there's also redstone time. And it has its own timing and the timing is solely based basically off of redstone repeaters. Okay so this is a redstone repeater by itself. If you, um, if you, left trigger, if you press left trigger on it you can see the redstone torches move away from each other. As you can see, they're moving around, and this is, uh, they have up to, what is it, three ticks to it, so this is one without any ticks added to it, this is one tick, this is two ticks, and finally this is three ticks, and then when you hit a fourth tick, it just restarts itself. So if you look right here, oh, you know what we can do right now? Night vision, oh my gosh, it's bright, I'm blind, oh, the, look, at the moon looks like the sun, it's so bright, it's crazy. So, as you can see, this is no ticks, one tick, two ticks, and three ticks. So, main, the main question you guys probably have right now is why you would want, like, why would you want to use timing in Minecraft? You know, there's no, I don't have to time anything, I'm trying to kill the Ender Dragon. What the hell are you guys telling me about time for? Well, it's, I, I mean, in a sense, it's not gonna, it's not gonna help you out in any situations, trying to kill dragons or such like that. But if you like more de decorative kind of situations, so say for example, we have ourselves a doorbell, and we want the sounds to go off at different times. So say we wanted this note block to go off, then this one, this one, and then finally this one. Basically, we would want to have the redstone, uh, redstone repeaters slow down the time of the redstone. So you can see we have one with three ticks here, one with three ticks, and none of three ticks, and then three three ticks. So, um, and for me personally, I like to do redstone torches at the last, the longest tick, because, uh, it's sometimes the redstone goes so fast, it's almost impossible to see it if you're just using one or two ticks. 
So, um, and also in a situ in a sit in a sense, I should say, redstone uh, ticks are om like are almost like seconds. So basically, when it comes to time, when you start like a stopwatch, the stopwatch starts at zero and then you know goes up from there. So if you think about this like time, when we follow the redstone. The redstone will go through here. There's no ticks on this one, so that's zero seconds. So zero seconds happens first, and therefore that would happen first. Then next in time is three seconds because this has three ticks, so that one should hit next. We got three ticks and another three ticks, so if we add that together, that's six ticks. So say that's six seconds of time. And finally, we got three ticks of three. Well, three, yeah, three ticks of three. So that's nine. So that's basically nine ticks of time, or nine seconds, in a sense. It doesn't take a second for every tick, but so that's why I said redstone has its own kind of time. So let me just show you an example, just to like, you know, because I've been talking enough about it. Let me show you. So like I said, this one should hit first. This one should make a sound first. Then this one, this one, and finally this one. And kind of listen for it and watch the little notes on the top because it's a lot easier to see it with the notes. So let's go. I don't know if you guys heard that. It was, it was a little hard to hear. But let's let me again. If you didn't hear it, just watch the notes and you can kind of see how they go off at different times. Magic, I know, right? I'm like, how do they do that? Like I said, this is zero seconds. This is three. This is six, and this is nine. Now let me show you a little like a more visually easy way of showing it. So we got ourselves something with no ticks, so basically it's like saying it's happened instantly, so we might as well just replace it. So we want this light to turn on first, and we want this one to turn on second. So to simply do that, all we do is we set up our uh, redstone tick, uh, redstone repeaters. We put each one of them on three ticks, just so that it's a little easier to see. So this is at six ticks, and this is at zero ticks. So this one should happen instantly, and this one should happen a little later. So let me show you real quick. Bam. Bam. You saw that? Let me show you one more time. So this one goes off, and the same thing when the power is being um, retraced, this one will go off first, and this one will go off second. Let me show you one more time. Like I said, first and second. Bam. Bam. Magic! We are gods of Minecraft now. We have time. Oh my gosh, what was that? Oh. We, have, we have time in Minecraft now. I know it's magical, dudes. So, it's going to get a lot more confusing when it comes to the timing. So, like I said, if I'm going too fast for you guys... Please rewatch the videos. Please rewind as many times as you need. Please let me know in the comments if I'm going way too fast for you guys, if I'm going too slow for you guys. And please let me know if I didn't explain something well. Because if I didn't, I'll simply just go over it again in another video, okay? I'll just do a little review session of what we learned. I always do it at the end of the episode, but if you want me to do a whole episode because it was way too confusing, please let me know down in the comments because I'm really just trying to help you guys out here. So... That's all about redstone torch, I mean, I said torches, redstone repeaters that needs to be known for the time being. So, again, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down in the comments below. So let's go over what we learned so far, or what we learned in this episode. So we got our red, we got our trip wires, like I said, not too complex. You step on them, they activate redstone connected to the block that they are connected to. Again, big mouthful. <laughs> uh, you throw blocks on them. Activates it. Also, entities such as nice pigs also activate it. Anything, any mob in the game will activate that. And they're simply connected with string, which I had to figure out when this at the first came out. Again, if they turn or if they go diagonally, they will not work. As you can see, they're up. There will be when they're in the middle position, they will be connected. When they're up, they're not connected. They can also be placed. Oh yeah, I forgot I broke this. Also, be placed over the ground, I guess, I, I can't really phrase that correctly, also can be connected over the ground, over the ground, above ground, yeah, that's a little bit better English, and they also activate the redstone blocks underneath them, just to show you, that's a little visual preference right there, and they um, can be stacked as many times as you need to, they don't have to be stacked, so you can see right here, this one will still work perfectly well, four blocks above ground, for something that might be four blocks above ground, I don't know what Game, what things are four blocks, but you know, maybe a, a giant gas has just invaded your world. You're like, oh my gosh, there's a gas! And then you like explode him with like fire bolts or like arrows or something when he passes through. That'd be some super epic stuff. <laughs> okay, sorry if I got a little far away from my mic. Let me take another sip of juice. I'm so sorry. My throat is really dry today. I don't know why. And uh, redstone, I mean the uh, strings, they don't affect other string. 
as you can see right here I'm stepping on this string which is only connecting these two that are activated these aren't if I step on the one that's connecting all four of them they will all be activated magic I know tripwires they're, they're just making our game even more interesting then we got our redstone repeaters which basically just carry over a redstone signal for another 15 blocks and that's just the basics of them as like, if you guys had just watched um, yeah basically carry over 15 more blocks of power uh, simplest way of doing it this so this whole setup with redstone torches is a lot more confusing it's possible without redstone repeaters but it's a lot more confusing um, redstone can now be traveled through blocks using redstone repeaters placed on either side of a block whether it be in the front of it or behind it as you can see here let me try to show you a little better let me uh, break that let's put that uh, on the other side and bam as you can see this is on the opposite end and this is before working perfectly fine still turn on a light magic wonder we love lights okay and uh, it can only be activated when it's lined up with this little red line in the redstone repeater like so it won't work here because it's not lined up with this line and it can only go through the redstone repeater um, from the far side of the torches it can only be powered in through there and it gets powered out through the other end which is closer to the redstone torches as you can see here if I try to power from the other end will not work and then this is what our redstone torch uh, oh god it got so dark without night vision <laughs> night vision again bam magic and we can see farther too which is great uh, we got a distraction uh, so we got our redstone uh, repeaters have different ticks there's zero one two and three and it's an easy way of making super awesome doorbells Oh, wait, you didn't hear that. I was talking. This is magic. Bam. Magic, I know. And also, if you want to turn lights on to, at different times, redstone repeaters are a perfect way of doing that. Anyways, I know this is a mouthful of information. This is, Redstone repeaters is really where it starts getting hard. So, I might, if I ever do get a chance, I'll make a playlist of this. And these first couple episodes will be in, like, the basics. From now on, it's going to get a little advanced so we're gonna be a little in the intermediate section I guess you could say so get ready for that guys if you're already excited about that then please leave a like make sure you comment subscribe and fave and all those other things you could probably do on your beautiful fingers and say goodbye to me I'm glowing I'm bluish I have whatever you call those little swirlies coming off of me beautiful head of hair I know I'm just I'm just too perfect anyways guys that was awkward wasn't it Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.